Welcome back to Thailand Talk and in this episode I'm going to talk about taking off your shoes. Now this might be obvious to some people if you know about Thailand and so forth. The first and foremost rule is taking off your shoes if you go into someone's home. That's a given, that's pretty obvious. Into someone's home, even a condo unit or an apartment is someone's home, take your shoes off. But there's a few situations where it may not be so obvious, and that's what I'm mainly going to talk about. For example, and it, the best way to talk about this is an example, um, I was at a, a museum, and this museum was, it was like an old house, so maybe they had the rule because it was an old house, but it was just a museum, it wasn't someone's house. It may have been like an old historical house. And there were steps going up to the front porch, and there was a sign in Thai to take your shoes off. Now, if you can't read Thai, if you're just a tourist, you know, you're not going to be crucified for it. But I happen to see the Thai, I can read Thai, take your shoes off, so I knew to take my shoes off. I was also the only person there, so there was no other shoes. You need to take your cues as well. If you go anywhere and you see a pile of shoes out the front, um, yeah, it's obvious that people are taking off their shoes. You should take off your shoes unless you're told otherwise because you might go inside and they might say, oh, it's okay, you can put your shoes on. Um, that's fine. But play it safe, take your shoes off. Now, at this place, like I said, I was the only person there and there was no shoes out the front, but I did read the sign in Thai, okay? Another situation was some shops. There are some shops around if the shop owner considers the shop to be part of the house, then you've got to take your shoes off. Again, take your cues. If you see other shoes at the front, take your shoes off. If you're the only customer and there's no other shoes, then you know you may miss that. But you're not going to be crucified, really. But you know, if they say, take your shoes off, please, then take your shoes, shoes off. If you take your shoes off and they say otherwise, you are, it's okay, you can leave your shoes on, then fine. Um, but play it safe unless you're told otherwise. And the other story that I had was at some internet cafes. That's where it really surprised me. I, I had that museum situation. I've had a couple of shops, but I've been to a couple of internet cafes where um, the first time I went there, I was the only customer, so I didn't know. Again, there was one old pair of shoes out the front, which I thought was just someone's old shoes, but I was the only customer. And... I learned afterwards when I saw other people taking off their shoes that, yeah, you take your shoes off at the internet cafe, which surprised me. It was one of those three-story walk-up. You know, in Thailand, it's very common to have these terrace row of houses, a three-story walk-up. Again, maybe they think this shop was part of the house. You've got to take your shoes off. So if you see shoes out the front, take your shoes off. At another internet cafe I went to, the first couple of times... The shoes were at the front, I was taking off my shoes, but the next time I went there, again, there was no shoes this time, and I took my shoes off, played it safe, walked in, and then they told me, it's okay, you can leave your shoes on. So, okay, I went back out, put my shoes on, came back in, so I'm not sure whether the, um, the management changed or there was a new owner or manager of the shop that had different rules. But again, Thai people perhaps might be thinking, you know, just take your shoes off before you go in. So it may not be a hard and fast rule, unless it's a rule, you know, a case-by-case -case scenario. One shop owner might have the rule, take your shoes off. Um, other shop owners may not worry. So, again, take your cues. If you see shoes at the front, play it safe unless you're told otherwise. So that was a couple of internet cafes, somewhere where you may not think you had to take off your shoes. The other thing I want to talk about is condos and apartments. Of course, they're people's homes. Take your shoes off. But if you have your own condo room or apartment room, please, you can take your shoes off, but bring your shoes inside. Keep your shoes inside the room. Like, it's very annoying. I live in this older style apartment, and there can be dozens of shoes outside in the corridor. It's very messy, doesn't look good. And the reason I say this, I'm not having to go at Thai people who leave their shoes outside, but a lot of newer buildings, newer condos and newer apartment buildings actually have regulations that you have to bring your shoes inside. Don't leave them in the corridor. So you can see how even in Thailand, they want to modernise and they don't want, it's a, it's a bad look to have all your shoes outside. So if you have your own room, 
bring your shoes inside. If you have visitors, there's no reason why the visitors can't bring their shoes inside as well. The room across the corridor here can have like 10 pairs of shoes taken up half the corridor. It's very annoying. I've had other people, other Thai people have complained about that. They want to kick the shoes away and so forth. So just a few points about that. Um, that's pretty much it for taking off your shoes. But I will just make one more quick point about your feet. In Thailand, your feet, the feet are considered, are considered a dirty part of the body, okay? A very lowly, dirty part of the body. So what that means is if you, if you sit somewhere, you can't point your feet at people or point your feet, especially at Buddha images or in temples and so forth. I've been told many times, say if you sit there with crossed legs and your foot's pointing somewhere, that's considered um, a taboo, don't do that. And where it becomes a major issue in temples, like I said, you've got to take your shoes off before you go into temples, but if you sit there and the monks are chanting or praying, you know, like this, you can't point your feet towards the monks or to where the Buddha images are, the, are, are at the front. Excuse me. You need to sit side saddle and point your feet to the back. Now, if the monks aren't chanting, you can sit cross-legged, but you'll notice that when you're cross-legged, your, your feet are pointing towards the front, which is a no-no. It might be okay um, normally, but if the monks start chanting and praying, then you've got to shift, go side-saddle, and point your feet to the back. If your legs get sore, you can shift to the other side, um, if the monks stop praying and stop chanting, then perhaps you can go back to um, sitting cross-legged because you'll notice your feet are pointing to the front. So when the monks are chanting, side saddle, feet to the back. Don't point your feet to things, especially, um, you know, Buddha images and so forth. So just a couple of pointers about taking off your shoes in people's homes. That's a given. Um, even some shops you may have to. And the whole idea of your feet are a lowly part of the body. Don't point them at people. Don't stick them in people's faces. Don't, don't sit with your feet up as well in public. A lot of Westerners do that in Thailand. Don't put your feet up. Keep them down. That's, you know, people don't like that in Thailand. So just a few pointers about your shoes and your feet. Take care, and I'll see you next time.